Alrighty, what's up YouTube? So here we are, uh, day two of the cold frame project. And of course, Nubu Magic jinxed me. He said to get it done, and today it is pouring. We've had so much freaking rain. It's ridiculous. I'm sick of the rain. So this is it, and what I'm working on right now. Oh, by the way, I'm saying screw the rain, I'm still working. So, uh, I raised, you see this gap here? And this is in the front. I raised this top piece in the front. I raised this up about an inch to give the glass uh, a, a stop to rest on. Um, mainly I did that just because it was easier to uh, work with the, the glass on here by having it rest on something but so what I'm gonna do is uh, I don't have any thin strips of wood or any molding or anything like that so I'm just gonna take a piece of uh, slab wood and uh, I'm just gonna attach this right over there uh, I use the slab wood for lots of projects like this and I, and I don't mind the the natural kind of rough look of it so I'm going to just slap that right on there, and that'll seal up that gap. And that is how we fix that. So almost done. Throw the hinges on. I gotta do a little work inside, clean it up a little, and that'll be that. And uh, then I'm gonna move on to the hinges. Um, Skybird bird said that I shouldn't bother with the hinges. I should just save myself some trouble which I could do but uh, I found a couple of these monster hinges and uh, since I found them and I didn't have to buy them I'm going to attempt to use them and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh, use these little pieces of plywood and build up to make it level so that the hinge fits nicely it doesn't fit as it is right there so do a little uh, magic on that and I'm going to hinge it at the uh, bottom so it swings that way down to the ground and I'm doing that uh, mainly so I don't have to worry about hoisting it up propping it up and then getting hit in the head with it which I could uh, see that coming a mile away and also by by hinging it so it's, it swipes down, uh, it's actually going to save me a little effort if there's a, a snow on it. All I have to do is just, you know, open it and snow will fall off. And uh, also to help distribute the weight when I open this up and swing the glass down, uh, that, that should work with that. Whereas if we go up, you're putting too much weight on the back. Uh, so that's where I'm at. Alrighty, folks. Here's what we got. Voila. That works perfect. Uh, the big hinges on the lower portion. Just like that. You can see what I had to do. Cut, cut a little plywood, prop it up. And that's it both sides there so this is it it's basically done um, you can see here one of the things that you want to do if you use a, an old window is you want to try and make sure you don't get one that has uh, lead based paints or epoxies in the trim or this type of stuff so at some point I might go through and I might try and scrape off some of this loose stuff because I have no idea if this is uh, lead based or not but for now I'm not going to bother with it 
Also, uh, on the top portion here, I'm probably going to try and get some uh, some rubber, try and scrounge up some a rubber stripping or uh, maybe even a, a metal strip or something just to cap that off to keep snow and ice and water from going in there. And let me go ahead and show you the inside. The other thing I did was I lined the inside with tin foil, heavy duty tin foil. And uh, obviously the idea of that is to reflect the light, and, you know, capture more light, reflect it down in there. Um, it would be best to use greenhouse reflective mylar or some sort of solar paneling mylar stuff. But uh, obviously I did not have that. And like I said, zero budget. I happen to have these uh, roofing nails left over from some roofing work that I did and it's overkill but pop 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 that's how I adhered the tin foil on there in in the actual frame itself what you want to do is you want to go with about about nine inches of uh, manure and and mulch or manure and hay or whatever you got handy uh, again, that's so it can decompose and generate the heat that heats up the rest of the soil and allows the plants to grow throughout the winter. So you want to go for about nine inches of uh, the manure and mulch and nine inches of topsoil. Um, you know, give or take, that's that's what I'm shooting for with this guy here. And as it turns out, each one of my planks that I used was just about nine inches. So I'm going to fill, this is a uh, rabbit rabbit poo and hay mixed in and uh, the rest of it I'm going to use horse poo, horse manure which I'm planning on getting tomorrow and uh, like I said the next plank would be the uh, topsoil and uh, that's basically it folks that's uh, my coal frame here it's done and I won't be showing it again um, until I've actually got something growing in it and uh, I'm gonna definitely stick a thermometer in it and take note of the outside temp and the inside temp because I'm really curious to see how that goes and that's basically it I probably I forgot I'll probably put a couple handles on here to uh, make it easier to open and close but the only thing that I don't like about it is it's uh, a little smaller than I hoped. So it just goes to show you that if you're going to do a serious cold frame setup, you need uh, some big glass or you need a bunch of glass panels and uh, you know it becomes a bit of a, a larger project. I'm also a little concerned because uh, where I am in upstate New York it gets quite quite cold and because of the size of this that it's a little bit on the small side, I'm a little worried that I'm not going to get enough insulation of the uh, the mulch from the sides. I'm not worried about underneath but uh, it just may be a little too small on the sides so we'll have to see how that works. Uh, actually I'm pretty confident that it's gonna work but um, if I had the uh, ability to pick and choose and budget wasn't concerned and materials weren't concerned uh, I would have liked to have this a little bit bigger. So that's it. Stay tuned for an update on what goes in here. Later, YouTube.